Install Thani. Create Python Virtual Environment. So what is a Python Virtual Environment? A virtual environment allows a programmer to keep dependencies required by different projects separate. To do this, Thani allows you to create isolated Python virtual environments. Keep in mind that Thani sets this virtual environment in a simplified manner, so issues may arise if you try and use other Python virtual tools with the Thani virtual environment tool. Outcomes? Install Thani in Windows 11. Create a Python virtual environment in Thani. Install a Kivi Python package in the virtual environment. Download a Python Kivi program from GitHub. Also had to reconfigure a VirtualBox virtual machine to use OpenGL to work with Kivi and verify that the Python program works with the downloaded Kivi package. Requirements, Windows computer, an internet connection, and an ability to create, manage simple Windows folders or directories. The next three slides contain additional sources of info, a list of the software used in making this video, and a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. To install Thani, go to thani.org. Scroll down until you see Thani Python IDE for beginners. To the right of that, you will see what looks like a download button labeled Download Version 4.14 for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Click on the 4.14 link. As this window comes up, scroll down and read this section on Windows. You will notice that Thani 4.14 only works with 64-bit windows. If you have a 32-bit version of Windows, you will have to use a Thani-Pi 38-414 version. I will demonstrate how to install the 64-bit version using Thani 4.14 EXE. Scroll down this page and click on 4.14 EXE. You will notice that here, Google is informing you that download is in progress. After a few seconds, you'll notice that the download is complete, and you will have two little icons here. One says show in the folder, and the other one says open, which basically you can click on to install. So click on this to install, Thani. And now the select setup install mode window comes up. And you have two choices here, install for me only, Recommended. I would recommend this one because it installs in your user environment and it's simpler to maintain. So I'm going to click on this, install for me only. The setup Thani window comes up. Click on next. And you have a license agreement here. So I accept the agreement and then I'm going to click on next again. This is the default installation folder. And I'm just going to click on Next and accept all the defaults. And then I'm going to accept the default for Thani as a folder name. I'm also going to create a desktop icon because that will make it simpler to demonstrate this. Click Next. Then finally, you've got your three choices we've made. And accept all those and click on Install. It's installed. I simply have to click on Finish. And now to verify that this is working, let me close this Chrome browser and go over here to left where it says Thani, or TH, which stands for Thani, and click on that. And finally, let's go. And there it is. And that's all you have to do to install Thani. The next section will cover setting up Python virtual environments inside of Thani. In this section, I will create a Python virtual environment. The virtual environment will use the Kivi package and some graphics to create a jumping jack figure. Because Kivi requires OpenGL 2.0, and I use a virtual machine to create this video, I will also have to reconfigure my virtual machine to use OpenGL 2.0. So let's start Thani by clicking on the Thani icon. Click on Tools, Options, Interpreter. Click on which kind of interpreter should Thani use for running your code. You'll see you've got a number of different choices. 
My choice is going to be local Python 3. Under Details, Python Executable, I would select the Python version that Thani has installed in my home directory. In this case, it would be C, Users, Mike, App Data, Local Programs, Thani, Python, EXE. You may have several versions of Python on your computer, but to keep it simple, pick one from your user directory. Next, click on New Virtual Environment at the bottom right of the Thani window. It says, after clicking OK, you need to choose an empty directory, which will be the root of your new virtual environment. Click OK. So in my case, I'm going to go to my user directory, this PC, local disk, users, mic. And before I create a virtual environment, I'm just going to create a project folder. So I'm going to go click New Folder and just call it Project, P-R-O-J, short for Project. Open that up, and here's where I'm going to make my virtual environment. Right-click, New Folder and call it Jumping Jack. And make sure it's selected. And click on Select Folder. It's going to take a few minutes to create a virtual environment. Finally, I click OK here. And if you notice down here, I've got a virtual environment inside the Jumping Jack folder. If I click on this, you notice that I've got a local Python 3, which is where I started, and then this virtual environment. So now I will download some Python packages to go into this Python virtual environment. Go back to Tools, click on Manage Packages, and it says Manage Packages for Project. Make sure you're in Jumping Jack or whichever virtual environment you've created. That's where it's going to go. In my case, I'm going to search for Kivi, which is a graphical environment. Search on PyPy. Click on that. And then I've got a number of different choices here. And I'm just going to click on the basic Kivi. And then finally come down here to the bottom and click on install. So it installs a number of packages. So now if you look over here on the left, these are the packages that it installed. Kivi and then maybe some other ones. Now click on close. In this section, I will verify the Jumping Jack virtual environment works by using a Kivi package and a Jumping Jack Python graphic program for my GitHub page. So let's go to my GitHub page, open up a browser, github.com slash Baba Rainer, open that up, and either from the overview or repositories, I go to Kiwi Jumping Jack Simple, and I want to download these four files, Jumping Jack 01, 02, 03, and jumpingjack.py. So let's click on this, download it, and you want to download it to your Jumping Jack directory. So this PC, local disk C, users, mic, Project Jumping Jack. Click on Save once you're inside that folder. Go back and let's download Jumping Jack 2. Download the raw file. Save. Go into the directory. Go back. Jumping Jack 03. Download the raw file. Save back, and finally jumpingjack.py. Download the raw file again, save, back. Now make sure all of these files are in your jumping jack directory. If you want to, you can always go back and check. Then I'm going to start Thani if it's not started. Then I'm going to look at the bottom right and make sure I'm in the jumping jack virtual environment. I can click on here. I actually got two choices here now. You may have several, depending on how many Python environments you have. Now inside my virtual environment, I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to open up that jumpingjack.py program, Project, Jumping Jack, and open this program. 
Now, if you'll look on this program, all this very short program that takes these three jumping jack PNG graphic file and just switches them out to make it look like you have a jumping jack figure. I'm going to go to the top of Thani, press it, green button here. Well, it's not working. This is a Kivi fatal error. It says open GL version detected 1.1, but it requires 2.0. Click OK. Now this is a VirtualBox virtual machine. And to fix that, I'm going to have to shut this down, change a setting in VirtualBox, start it back up, and then run Kivi. Now to make sure I save my virtual environment, let's go to File, Exit, so it should automatically save here. And like I said, I'm going to shut it down, bring up my virtual machine, click on Details. I'm going to go to Display, where it says Extended Features, Enable 3D Acceleration. I'll click on that, click OK, and then go ahead and start it back up and get back into Thani. And that's all I have to do to get OpenGL 2.0 running inside VirtualBox. Here I am back inside Windows 11. Click on Thani, open that up. Here's my program again. Look down here. I'm still in the jumping jack virtual environment. This time when I click on this green run current script, there goes my jumping jack. It has taken the Kiwi packages and run. Now to stop it, I simply go up here to stop. So pardon the poor graphics, and hopefully this video has helped you to set up a virtual environment in Thani. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And you can create several virtual environments depending on the requirements of the project you're working on and switch between them. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions on this video, please ask them in the comments below. Also, if there is a video you would like to see made, please let me know. While I can't promise anything, I will try and look into it. Cheers.